If you do something morally wrong, the video ends. Scribble knots unlimited. Sounds familiar, but have I played that before? I have not. All right, so I have no idea what the hell I'm getting into. I've heard of Scribble Knots a long time ago. Actually, I actually don't know when this came out, but like I heard it back then, but I've never actually played it before. So, shall we begin the game called Scribble Knots? Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Uh-huh. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. Yeah, I don't know what to expect for this. Adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she, she was using was an engagement ring. The two of them okay. semi retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had forty two children. W wow. Well, that's one day how, mom and that's, dad gave that Maxwell and me shouldn't two be possible. Gifts. The first was a magic globe okay, that never let mind, you travel whatever. anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it. And poof, the word would come to life. Okay, so I have to make sure I don't do anything that's considered morally wrong in this game. But I'm con I'm assuming that's not that easy. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. Uh-huh. With the notebook? On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Hello, kid. I'm hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. Oh. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids. Spoiled then, little kids? I'm going to curse you all because you gave me a rotten apple. <laughs> but when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. Oh. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to Man, this whole video is going to be ma so mostly cutscenes, huh? We got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Uh -huh. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. Well, this that seems pretty long, I'll say. Things for all the people I can find. I'm going to get all the starites in the world and I'm going to make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. And the adventure begins. Wow, this is interesting looking. Walk to farmer. Wow, what the heck? Uh Earn a star arrive by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. Okay. Oh, what the hell. Turn the runt of the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Uh... Try something to clean the pig. Uh... Brush? Uh... Cleaning. Drag this to Maxwell. I actually don't, didn't know who Maxwell was. Uh, clean it. Wow. Click the progress bar for the current hint. Click Maxwell to remove this object. Okay. Drag this into a trash can. Where are the trash can? Oh, there it is. The pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig's size. Uh, add adjective. All right. Gargantuan! Wow! The pig is huge! Help the pig win the talent competition. Use the adjective 
And now, and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Uh, hints are unlocked over time. Okay. Uh, I need wings large enough to help me fly. Okay. Um, 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 which? I'll just type wings for now. Oh, okay. Uh, gi gigantic wing. Whoa, the magic backpack stores object for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Uh, what? Uh, the, the judges are here. Wow, your pigs are tiny. Take the wings from the backpack. Wow, the pig is flying! Why wings though? Uh, sure. That, that's not a pig. That's a dog. Yay! We He's the winner! Wow. I, I see. I see this. This is the type of game it is. I see. This is, this is totally a kid's game. How am I supposed to make it so that's morally wrong? Is it morally wrong to cheat? Actually, didn't I just help my brother cheat this competition right now? <laughs>